it's time for the final battle of, you know, the first half of the game. Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we took on the fourth and final member of the Elite Four here at the Indigo Plateau, Karen, the Dark-type trainer, who looks kind of like a granny in the overworld, but was looking pretty fine in her battle sprite, I gotta say. You know what? If I become the champion, go ahead and feel free to hit me up, Karen. But anyway... She was the last obstacle between us and the champion of the Johto League, who is the final block in our path to becoming the strongest trainer in the region. So, if you guys are excited to take on the champion, the final battle of the main game of Pokemon Heart Gold, and prove ourselves to be the strongest one in the entire region, please make sure to leave a like on the video down below. Thank you all so much for sticking with me throughout this adventure so far, and let's get it. How you feeling, Lamchop? Lamchop nodded slowly. Yup. That's how I'm feeling too. I know in my heart of hearts that we've got this. So let's take on the champion. And wow, this looks regal. Looks like Wario's castle from Wario World. Everything's made of gold. But hey, Noodle, look, it's your cousins. Well, look at that. We got a uh, bow tie, macaroni, uh, ravioli, stromboli, spaghetti, and um, Bill. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> but either way, the champion lies right ahead. So let's go see who he is. I've been waiting for you. Brian, I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance the Dragon Master, accept your challenge! And yes, the champion of the Pokemon League is Lance the Dragon Tamer, the man with the really cool cape and the anime hair, who we battled with earlier in the game alongside against Team Rocket, but Lance is much stronger than he was at that time. At that point, his Dragonite was like level 40, and it only really flew, or used the move Fly, and it kind of sucked a little bit if I'm being completely honest, but now he is much, much more of a threat. He will lead off with a Gyarados, which luckily for us is not a Dragon-type Pokemon, but instead a Water-Flying-type Pokemon who looks a lot like a Dragon. I think originally, before the first games came out, he was supposed to be Dragon-type, but like, they changed it for some reason. I actually have no idea why. Maybe it was because if Gyarados were Water-Dragon, that would have been way too strong, because like, there would be no weaknesses to hit it with aside from other Dragon-type moves, but either way, we're gonna take it out easily with one Thunderbolt and Noodle's gonna grow up and learn the move Safeguard. I'm not too interested in that, but hey, thank you for trying, Noodle. Uh, yeah, let's give up on Safeguard and let's continue on to a much, much bigger threat. This thing is a problem. This is his first Dragonite, and I imagine he's gonna send out the level 51 right off the bat. So let's head out there with Gatorade, because Dragonite is Dragonair's evolved form, and you guys have seen how much work Noodle puts in on Pokemon. If Noodle gets off, like, a Dragon Rush or something, that Pokemon is dead. And this Dragonite is five levels higher, it was cracking its knuckles earlier, and now it's using Outrage, a 120 power stab Dragon-type move, which is going to wreck our life if we get hit by another one. Gatorade, can you survive? Are you serious? A critical hit? Really? Really? A critical hit right off the bat? Oh my god. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Jeez, alright, um, I don't know if any of our other Pokemon can even, like, take one of these outrages. Jeez, alright. Uh, Scrambler, let's go out and hit it with a Yawn. I kind of wanted to not use healing items during this battle, but I don't think that's gonna be possible, because this outrage is too strong, and we need those Ice-type moves that Gatorade has, because this thing really has no other weaknesses that we can exploit, and man, Scrambler is down in one hit! Ah, jeez. I wanted to use a yawn against that thing, but apparently that's not gonna happen. So, uh, let's go ahead and go out there with Blackberry just to soak up some damage while we try to take this thing down. And, um, I guess the, uh, strategy here is just gonna be to use a Max Revive on Gatorade because that's the only way I see us being able to take this thing out. Really? A critical hit its first move? Are you serious? How much less lucky could I get? Jeez. At least it's gonna hurt itself in its confusion, and this thing has a massive attack, so I thought it was gonna do more than that, actually. I'm a little bit disappointed that it didn't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bank on the fact that it will miss, and we're gonna switch out to Gatorade. Or, not that it will miss, but that it will hit, hurt itself in its confusion. So, it's confused. Please hurt yourself, Dragonite. Yes! There we go. That's exactly what we needed to see. Oh man, that is so relieving. If it hit us, then we would have had to, like, revive Gatorade again this turn. And now it's gonna use Outrage again, as long as it doesn't get a critical hit. I know we can survive at least one of these, so Gatorade, come on, soak it up. Don't get hit with that crit. It rhymes, so you aren't 
gonna not stay alive. That was the worst rhyme I've ever made in my entire life. But this avalanche should take this thing out because it is boosted by the fact that we got hit earlier in this turn. Never melt ice. Gatorade's a beast. You know, all that. Y'all already know. So, we're gonna split that experience. And man, Noodle is getting hecka strong these days. Dragonite is gonna come back out. And this one, I believe, knows Thunder. He has one Dragonite that knows Thunder, so it would make sense that he would send this one out against um, Gatorade. Now, Lamp Chop got hit with a Waterfall earlier, so I don't think Lamp Chop's gonna be able to cut it. Um, Hot Dog has Crunch, Noodle's gonna be slower, so... What's the strategy here? What is the strategy here? Um... Whew, okay. Blackberry should be able to tank at least one move, and I'll hit it with... Should we hit it with a Sand Attack? Should we just heal up Gatorade? No, because Gatorade is gonna get killed in one hit by that Thunder, I guarantee, because that thing's special attack is really high as well. Oh, what do we do? Alright. Um... Okay, so what we're gonna do, switch into Blackberry, we're gonna play a little dirty here, and I am glad I kept this sand attack on Blackberry, I was thinking about trading it out for something else, but we are gonna play a little bit dirty, and we are gonna rely on luck here, because that is really the only move that we have. So, let's go ahead and sand attack this thing, we should be able to survive at least one Dragon Rush, plus that only has, I believe, 75 attack, so he might miss the next one. If we can get two sand attacks off, we might be sitting pretty against this Dragonite. Let's go ahead and lower its accuracy, and... Yes, it's gonna miss the next one. All right, Blackberry, we're gonna go ahead and hit three sand attacks because I do not want this thing getting a thunder off against Gatorade once Gatorade comes back out. Missed that second dra Dragon Rush, and you know what? I'm kind of feeling the sand attack, uh, you know, streak right here. I do not mind just sand attacking all day until he hits another Dragon Rush, which unfortunately is right now. Blackberry, you did your job. Oh my gosh, you're gonna let. Oh, no! Are you serious? You're gonna live, but you're gonna flinch. That sucks. But it's going to use Thunder. Ooh, and why would you use such a low uh, accuracy move against us when you're minus like three or four in accuracy? <laughs> All right, Blackberry, thank you for your contribution to this final fight. Blackberry does not have enough physical power to stand up against these Dragon Knights, but she has got the guts to just kick dirt up in their faces and add insult to the injury that Gatorade is about to give them. Sand attack one more time, and I believe that's minus six, so sh we should be able to just take this thing out. I'm going to use this... Mm. Yeah, I guess I'd better heal up. I really didn't want to use um, a lot of healing move or healing items in this battle because it's kind of... You know what? No, let's not heal up. Let's not heal up. We used the one revive already. That is plenty for me. Let's go ahead and just Dark Pulse this thing. Get a little bit of damage in on it, but nope. Looks like that's not going to happen, and Blackberry is going to go down. But Blackberry, you did your job, and I trust that all that sand in this Dragonite's eyes right now is going to take it down. That's going to spell its doom, and we will hit it with this Ice Fang. Come on, please miss. Yes! The Dragon Rust is going to miss, and Gatorade is going to come in with the Ice Fang. I don't know if this is going to take it out in one hit, but it's definitely going to do a lot of damage, and if we could get a freeze off against this, this would be the most taxi battle I've ever done in my life. Unfortunately, that's not the case, so gonna have to ice fang it again please don't hit oh no it's gonna hit the thunder really really and it had to go all overkill and hit us with the super effective move all in one swoop Jeez, that is just not even nice man what are you doing um let's go out with lamb chop because we can hit this thing with a thunder wave and then if it's paralyzed and with its accuracy so low we should be able to take it out reasonably easily gonna dragon rush us but thank the blackberry in the back of our party sitting there all fainted for doing such a great job because its accuracy is so low and hitting us with a like really uh low accuracy move like that just ain't gonna happen man so let's go ahead and charge up because i do want this thunderbolt to kill this thing i am not trying to have lance use a full restore on this dragonite right now because that would suck majorly it's gonna use dragon rush one more time i think i don't want to risk another turn of this thing maybe hitting a dragon rush on us so lamp chop this is your moment to shine. You better take this thing out with this Thunderbolt, man. Neutral effective, but Lamb Chop, I have faith in you. You have not let us down yet. Can we take it out? Yes! The Dragonite is going to go down, and that is a major, major threat to our team. Gone. But I don't know what to do about his third Dragonite. Get creative with your team, Lance. Jeez, gosh. You really need to, like... I don't know, Lance. You gotta get, like, creative with this stuff or something, because three Dragonites, that is just, like, not fair. That's just, like, me having four ho on a team or something. It's just not cool, man. Nobody likes it when you just show off like that, alright? I know you think it's neat to have a billion Dragonites or whatever, because we're all powerful, but... 
not really impressing me, and it looks like uh, we are in a really bad position. We're going to have to use another revive, or else we're not going to be able to uh, beat this dude. Hot Dog can go out there and lower this thing's attack all at once, but... Uh, that's really not going to do much. The only thing that's going to do a lot of damage here and not kill us like Flare Blades is Crunch. And I don't think that's going to be enough to take this thing out, even if it has half attack. But you know what? Let's go ahead and crunch this thing. I do want to see how far we can take this battle without using healing items. If we need to... Oh, yes! We got the defense drop! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! We might actually have a chance to take this thing out now. Or it's going to Thunder Wave us, which will slow us down and will paralyze us. So we might not be able to attack every single turn. But I believe in you, Hot Dog. You can break through this. You can hopefully dodge a couple of its Dragon Rushes because that is not a good look for us. Oh my gosh, it's going to flinch too. I forgot Dragon Rush could flinch, man. Why is it going to hit two in a row? Ah, this is so unfair. We're getting so unlucky this battle. Two flinches in a row. All right. That is not cool. Looks like we're going to have to use a Max Revive on Gatorade and uh, get back in there against this thing because it is just not letting us through. It is not letting us do anything against it. And I don't know if this Dragonite has Thunder as well. If it does, we might be a little bit screwed because I really don't know what to do against the Thunder Dragonite. So <laughs> let's swi uh, switch into Gatorade and I know it's going to be faster than us. So let's go ahead and try to hit it with that Avalanche. Please tell me it doesn't have Thunder. Dragon Rush. Okay, if it had Thunder, it would have used it against us there, so we know that it doesn't. Please don't flinch. Why? Three flinches in a row! What are the chances of that? That is so stupid. Oh my gosh. Thunder Wave, if you are paralyzed this turn, Gatorade, I am gonna throw a fit, because that would be ridiculous. Alright. Yes, Avalanche. Okay, finally we can hit this thing with something. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Is it gonna take it out, though? Yes! Oh, yes! We got the critical hit! All right, you know what? I'm not that upset about the crits and the flinches and the paralysis and everything that's been going on so far, because that was clutch, Gatorade. I appreciate that. Now, Aerodactyl is going to come out. This thing also is a fairly big threat. Um, I guess we're going to stay in with Gatorade. Oh, why did I stay in with Gatorade? I didn't want to do that. Oh, I need to heal up Gatorade is what I need to do, uh, because this paralysis is not a good look on us right now. Uh, so Waterfall will be two times effective. This is a Rock Flying type, by the way. Another non-dragon that looks like a dragon. And has a big old J. Leno chin. But, um, it looks kind of like Charizard's ancestor now that I think about it. But, uh, I don't know what moves this has. If we can survive one and hit it with an Avalanche. Oh, Thunder Fang, we're dead. We're dead. Gatorade's dead. I didn't know it had that move. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Gatorade! Whoa, 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 whoa! Why did you survive that so well? That is impressive. All right. We're going in with the full restore, and we're going to take this Aerodactyl out on the next turn, because this thing is not as much of a threat as I thought it was. That Thunder Fang I thought was going to take us out for sure, but it's not that much higher level than us, I guess, so it makes sense that it wouldn't. It's going to go ahead and Aerial Ace us, because it thought that we were going to live through- uh, that we weren't going to live through this, but ha! Ha! You are underestimating our Gatorade, man. Let's use that Avalanche. It's going to use Thunder Fang. Oh, and it missed. Yes. Finally, we have some hacks on our side. I mean, that last critical hit was a bit of hacks, but we were missing. We were flinching throughout this entire battle, so I find it fitting. Oh, and another critical hit. All right. We are clutching this battle out, folks, and I'm going to promise you we're not going to use any healing items from now on. Gonna send in a Charizard, which should be absolutely no problem for Gatorade. I do want Noodle to have a small chance, at the very least, to shine. However, so Noodle, get out there. Let's see what we can do. We haven't used Noodle very much so far in the Pokemon League, so I want Noodle to have at least one chance to show her guts. All right, I thought this would never happen. Apparently, nobody has ever taken Lance down to his last Pokemon before, but we are the first to do it. Let's hit this thing with a Thunder Wave, first of all. It's gonna Air Slash us, which shouldn't take us out, I don't believe. Ooh, that is gonna do a lot of damage. Th no, we flinched! Are you serious? Why would we flinch? Oh my gosh. Uh, how much HP does Gatorade have? Gatorade should be able to take an Air Slash at least. And I think that's the strongest thing that this thing is gonna have against us. So, Noodle, basically all you can do right now is extreme speed this thing. Hope we get a crit or something. Get just a little bit of damage off on it. And, uh, just get it as weak as possible for when Gatorade comes in. Ooh, a critical hit! Noodle, yes! Thank you so much. You only got one attack in this entire Elite Four run and Champion run, but it it counted. I promise you that, and I will not let it be in vain. Gatorade, let's go. About to level up and about to take on the final Pokemon of Champion Lance.
two stars facing off against one another. Let's see which one comes out on top. He has Shadow Claw. Are we going to survive it? Yes, we are! We barely took any damage from that, and that sucks for you, Charizard, because you let Gatorade live, and you do not ever let a Gator in your backyard. We took out Charizard, the final Pokemon of Champion Lance, with our final Pokemon, Gatorade, our starter, the one who we began it all with, growing to level 46, and proving that we are stronger than the former Champion Lance. It's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a new champion. And with that, we are the champions of the Johto League. Whew. You have become truly powerful, Brian. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. And who is this? Whoa, what are you doing here? Oh no, it's all over! Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow. Oh, my knees hurt so bad. Ah, Brian, it's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokémon made this happen. Your Pokémon were outstanding, too. So was your use of full restores. Because they believed in you as a trainer, they persevered. Congratulations, Brian! Let's interview the brand new champion. This is getting to be a bit too noisy. I agree. Get me out of here. Get me, like, a protein shake or a martini or something, because I need to chill out. Brian, could you come with me? Goodbye, Professor Oak, and goodbye, Mary. Oh, wait! We haven't done the interview! Ah! How will I get my money now? This isn't about you, Mary. This is about us being the champion, and this looks very, very climactic. It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we commemorate the League Champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the lot. We witness the rise of a new League champion, a trainer who feels compassion for and trust toward all Pokemon, a trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new League champion who has the making, who has all the makings of greatness. Brian, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. And with that, the Hall of Fame is our new home. Lamb Chop's new home and the rest of our team's new home because we have beaten the former champion and become the strongest trainer in the region. Noodle, I wish you had more time to shine in the Elite Four and the champion battle, but you will definitely have your time in the spotlight in the after game. And Blackberry, man, you were a key piece in this battle. Nobody's really going to talk about you in the, like, Legends of Yore or whatever because you didn't actually do any damage. But you hit those sand attacks, and without you, we wouldn't have been able to take out that Dragonite for sure. Hot Dog the Arcanine, newly evolved and just plowed through every one of the Elite Four. Scrambler the Togetic, who played a big part, especially against Karen, taking out that Gengar like it wasn't nothing. And of course, Gatorade. The final member of our team standing in that last battle, and the first member of our team since day one. We took out that Charizard, and we took out Lance, and became the League Champion. Ooh, such a good feeling! What a beautiful team, man. I love this. Why are all the small guys on the left, though? <laughs> That's like Heightsist or something, dude. <laughs> yep, saving very anticlimactically, but that was it. That was the Pokemon League. Saving very, very slowly, apparently. <laughs> But with that, we have completed the main game of Pokemon Heart Gold, and oh my gosh, it has been such a long journey. It has been way too long since the beginning of this, um, Let's Play, but we made it. We finally became the Pokemon League Champions. Oh my gosh, it feels so good, especially after such a clutch battle like that right at the end. Gatorade pulled through, our team pulled through, I am so proud of everybody. But you guys know that this is not the end of Pokemon Heart Gold. People have been asking in the comments, and I don't think I've answered anybody definitively yet. But yes, we will be taking on the after game of Pokemon Heart Gold, which is approximately the same length as the normal game if you do all the, like, legendary Pokemon type of stuff. So this project is far from over. I'm not sure when I'm going to continue it. I do kind of want to get it out of the way as soon as possible because this project has been alive very, very long on the channel, and I think it's time that we plow through the rest of it like no other. 
So we will be continuing the Pokemon Heart Gold after game very shortly, which takes place not in Johto, but in Kanto. So I will see you guys then. In the meantime, though, let's reminisce a little bit. Oh, Whitney, you and your mill tank, which wasn't actually all that threatening, despite all the legends and all the comments of people saying, oh my god, Whitney's mill tank is the worst thing in the entire world. You know what the worst thing in the entire world is? Is, um, which gym leader was the hardest for us, actually? Uh, Claire was pretty easy. Whitney wasn't that bad. Jasmine actually didn't turn out to be that bad. I thought she was going to be a lot worse. I don't even remember struggling against too many of these gym leaders. I guess Chuck was a little bit different. No? No, Chuck was really easy. What am I talking about? Oh, look at that tiny little Steelix. I love the overworld sprites for the giant Pokemon. They make them look so, like, small and cute. Maybe it was one of the early gym leaders that I'm just not thinking of right now. I don't know. But definitely the toughest battle in the entire game was that one against Lance. Because in this generation... Dragonite is just such an overpowered monster, man. Jeez, you can't do anything against it, especially if it's that high a level. Uh, and all those crits, but hey, man. Our team is clutch. That is like the theme of this Let's Play, is how clutch our team is, man. We get the crits when they matter. We get the flinches when they matter. And no matter how much Hax is thrown against us, we always come out on top, man. And we barely had to use anything during that battle, I guess couple revives or whatever but um i am really really proud of how well our team did in that last battle that was so cool the like final battle-esque thing against that charizard was amazing so i would like to implore you all please if you enjoyed this uh episode of pokemon heart gold as much as i did because my heart is like pounding right now i've got the adrenaline please make sure to leave a like on the video down below if you enjoyed this project if you enjoyed anything about this series, if you enjoy those cute little hot pips on the side, I would really appreciate it. Your guys' support means the world to me. And this is the end for now, for this part, but it is not the end of Pokemon Heart Gold. We will be doing the after game, and I cannot wait to get into the next leg of our adventure. So I would like to thank you all very much for watching the main game of Pokemon Heart Gold. I really hope you enjoy it. Please make sure to leave, um, I guess... What was your favorite moment of the main game of Pokemon Heart Gold? Mine, personally, was this battle just now. That final, like, showdown between Feralig or between Gatorade and that Charizard at the end. That was so, so awesome. My heart was legitimately beating super hard. That was my favorite moment of the game so far. What was yours? Please make sure to let me know in the comments section down below. I would love to hear it. And I guess I will see you guys next time, where we head off toward the Kanto region and the second leg of our adventure. Thank you all so, so much for sticking with me throughout the main game. It's been so fun. I am so glad you guys asked me to continue this project because it was totally, totally worth it. Thank you all so much for all your support. I really, really do love you, and this would not be the same experience without you guys. Making your suggestions as to team members, moves, nicknames, this and that. It's so much fun playing through this with you guys, and I cannot wait until we play through the second half. So, thank you all very much once again for watching, and I will see you guys in Kanto. <laughs> See you guys then.